is your PC slower than it should be because you haven't updated your BIOS? Or maybe you have security leaks because you haven't updated your BIOS. Or you're just not getting features you should have because you have not updated your BIOS. This is how I'm updating my BIOS, but definitely read your manual for your particular motherboard. For this motherboard, it's the Gigabyte TRX50 Aero D. So I'm just going to scroll down, click on BIOS, and it's going to be the newest one, F11. July 4th and you just click download. It will show up as a zip file and you just want to right click and uncompress it. You know, that should be straightforward or extract all basically. And this is the file that you're gonna want when you enter the BIOS. Which you're gonna put on your little thumb drive. I'm sorry, 128 gigs, wow, okay. And to keep things simple, just put that drive in your USB type A port labeled BIOS. Reboot your computer. This in particular is the Gigabyte Aero D TRX50 motherboard for Threadripper. And reset the computer and keep smashing the delete key until you get into the BIOS. The Aero D looks white like this because that's its design white motherboard hey whatever but what you want to do is go into the q flash area for this particular motherboard again read your motherboard manual here it shows the current bios version and the bios date i recently updated this and you just go ahead and click in this area and direct this to exactly where you have saved that file it's honestly that simple at that point you just hit Okay, your system may reboot once or twice and then it'll actually let you know when the BIOS update is done. And lastly, you just want to re-enable your XMP Expo profile for your RAM to make sure you're getting the best possible speeds for your memory. For most motherboard BIOSes, it's just hitting F10 to save and exit. Have a sip of your coffee because depending on your system, it could take a few minutes for it to retrain the RAM with this new BIOS version. Just be patient. It could take 30 seconds. It could take five, 10 minutes, really depends on your system. For safety, I use a UPS unit, uninterval power supply unit. So if the power goes out, all my computers, my internet are still up and running. Basically don't do it during a rainstorm or anything like that. And bam, just like that, we are back into Windows. Threadripper 7970X, 32 cores, 64 threads, 128 gigs of DDR5 RDIMMs. Notice how this style of RAM is above and below the CPU and the RTX 5090, so everything is read perfectly fine. After a BIOS update, I like to run a benchmark like Cinebench R23 just to make sure there's no issues whatsoever, and the score for this is 63,000 points and change. Not bad at all. So hit the like and follow buttons for more tech tips like this when it comes to PCs, laptops, cell phones, all that good stuff.